Hi kids, today we're going to be reading Jack and the Cornstalk, illustrated by E.C. Bean, written by Aaron Burakoff. Once upon a time, on a farm far away, there lived a poor woman and her son, Jack. Their only possession was a milking cow. Every morning, Jack milked the cow and sold its milk to purchase their supper. One day, the cow stopped producing milk, so Jack's mother sent him off to sell the cow in the marketplace. On his way to the marketplace, Jack met an old man who offered him five magic corn kernels in exchange for his cow. Jack gladly accepted the man's offer and ran home to show his mother their new treasures. When Jack returned home, his mother was very angry with him. How could you sell our cow for five measly little corn kernels? She screamed. Now we will starve. She threw the corn kernels out the window and sent Jack to bed with no supper. Jack went to sleep sad and hungry for he had no idea about the adventures that will soon come his way. When Jack awoke the next morning, he looked out his window and onto the fields where his mother had thrown the corn kernels. To his surprise, he saw a giant corn stalk stretching high up into the sky. The kernels really were magical, he shouted in delight. Then, curious as could be, Jack climbed off the corn stalk to see where it led. At the top of the corn stalk, Jack discovered a giant palace where he was greeted by a very tall woman. The woman saw that Jack was hungry, so she fed him a breakfast of fresh baked corn muffins. While Jack was eating, the woman warned him, You must be very careful, little boy, for my husband is a giant and he does not like when strangers visit our home. If you hear his footsteps, you must run and hide. And just as she finished speaking, Jack heard the loud footsteps of the giant. So he ran and hid under the giant's bed. Jack looked out from under the bed and saw the giant enter the house. The giant was enormous and started sniffing around the house and said, E-I-E-I-O, I smell someone I do not know. Don't be silly, his wife replied. There's nobody here. Sit down and let me feed you your breakfast. The giant ate his breakfast and went to his bedroom for his morning nap. After the giant fell asleep, Jack snuck out from under the bed, grabbed a basket of corn muffins from the kitchen and climbed down the corn stalk. Jack returned to his farmhouse and shared the corn muffins with his mother. She was overcome with happiness. At lunchtime, Jack climbed back up the corn stalk and returned to the palace. The giant's wife saw that Jack again looked hungry, so she fed him sweet corn on the cob. Before Jack could finish his last bite, he heard the giant's footsteps growing louder and louder, so he ran and hid under the bed. E-I-E-I-O, I smell 
someone I do not know, roared the giant as he entered the front door. Don't be silly, his wife replied. There's nobody here. Sit down and let me feed you your lunch. The giant ate his lunch and went to his bedroom for his afternoon nap. After the giant fell asleep, Jack snuck out from under the bed, grabbed a bucket of sweet corn from the kitchen, and climbed down the corn stalk. Jack returned to his farmhouse and shared the sweet corn with his mother. She was overcome with happiness. At dinner time, Jack climbed up the corn stalk for a third time. This time, however, the tall woman did not feed him. You cannot expect me to feed you forever, she explained. Take these magic corn kernels home with you, and if you plant them and care for your cornfields, you will never go hungry again. On his way out of the palace, Jack saw the giant and heard him scream. E-I-E-I-O, I see someone I do not know. The giant chased after Jack, but Jack was too fast for him. Jack raced to the ground and chopped the corn stalk down before the giant could catch him. Jack ran home and showed his mother the magic corn kernels. This time, however, he did not let her throw them out the window. Instead, Jack carefully planted the kernels in the field, watered the ground above them, and went to sleep. The next morning, Jack and his mother saw that a beautiful cornfield had grown overnight, with plenty of fresh corn ready to be eaten. Jack remembered his promise to the giant's wife. So he walked through the fields and water and carefully cared for all of the corn stalks. As he walked through the rows of corn, he removed some of the corn stalks to write a very special message that the giant's wife could read from high up above. From that day forward, Jack continued to care for his fields and he and his mother always had as much corn as they needed. And every fall, Jack created a different message in the cornfields to thank the giant's wife for help. Thanks to Jack and the magic corn kernels, they all lived happily ever after.